focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And try to breathe in a way that feels comfortable. If you're not sure what's comfortable, you can experiment for a bit. Try longer breathing for a while, then shorter, faster, and then slower, heavier, lighter. Mix them up in all kinds of different ways. See what the body needs right now, what it responds to. If you find a breathing that feels good, stick with it. And keep watch over your mind so it doesn't wander off. Because that's one of the big problems in life. The mind just likes to wander. It's a traveler. Travelers through, travels through samsara and who many knows how many lifetimes. And right now it's just traveling around if you're not focusing on the breath. And when it travels around, well, what principles does it use to know where to go and where not to go? The Buddha said one of the things you have to protect yourself against is being heedless about the qualities of your mind. In other words, saying it doesn't really matter what you think about, nobody else knows. But that's not true. What you think about, if you think about it repeatedly, starts forming a rut in the mind. And then you start thinking that way more and more, and then you start speaking in line with that and acting in line with that, and it's going to come out. So you have to be careful right at the very beginning of the source. It's like a flood or erosion. Sometimes it starts out with just tiny little rivulets, and then the rivulets get deeper and deeper, and then they can pull down whole, whole cliffs. So you have to be very careful about what's going through your mind. I mean, things popping up in the mind, that's normal. But it's what you, as they say in Thai, what you continue to weave. A thought comes up and says, ah, oh, there's a little bit of lust. Let's follow the lust for a while. A little bit of anger. You, we usually don't think about whether it's lust or anger. We just think about, do I like this or do I not like it? But just your liking is not going to be enough to determine what should be followed and what shouldn't, because a lot of things that we like are things that are going to cause trouble down the line. And as the Buddha said, the sign of, one of the signs of wisdom is your ability. If you know something's going to cause trouble down the line, that even if you like it, you know how to keep yourself from doing it. Same with things that you don't like to do, but you know they'll get, lead to good results. You can get yourself to do those things. That's a part of wisdom. You don't have to read a lot of books. You have to just be very, very careful about your thoughts and figure out how not to be heedless about what's coming through your mind. Because what's coming up in your mind right now, that can, that can turn into whole lifetimes if you're not careful. So be very careful about what you follow, what thoughts you continue to weave into bigger and bigger thoughts. If something comes up and you note it and it just goes away, that's not a problem. That's the things that you want to get involved in, you want to jump into. Sometimes they don't arise on their own. You want them to arise. You want to think a little lust. You want to think a little anger. That way you get yourself in a lot of trouble down the line. So you have to be very heedful about what starts out in your mind. When you're heedful about the qualities of the mind, then you find yourself being heedful about your speech, about your actions. And as the Buddha said, all skillful things in your life come from being heedful, having a sense that there are dangers in your actions if you don't do them well, if you don't do them skillfully. But there's a lot of good that can come if you act in ways that are skillful. So your actions are the big important thing in life. We tend to think the important events in life are happening someplace else right now. But actually what's important for you is what you're doing right here, right now. So be very heedful about the consequences of what you're doing right here, right now. Because it can make a huge difference in your life. And you can make it, if you're heedful, you can make a huge difference for the better.